those mergers in terms of performance of the companies and how do you see the effects of those mergers in terms of were they then able to take on bigger programs or bigger R&D challenges or did that not carry us? Well, I think you're right because when I, I survived four mergers. Uh, we started uh, about 34th in size uh, when we were acquired uh, Sterling, uh, Sterling Winthrop and uh, with the San Jose of Venice became number three or four in, in size. So, but in all those mergers, I think what Ellie points out is true. We tried to preserve the R&D structure, <laughs> and uh, and that did not, you know, although that was successful in preserving uh, the sites and the R&D structure, it didn't yield the, that many more molecules to be able to fill the gap or, or in the long term. We just we acquired a lot more projects. Uh, we're now looking the other way and cutting the portfolio and reducing you know, some of the killing some of the projects that probably should have been killed a few years ago, and focusing more on, on the, the, core, the core work. So I think it's, uh, you know, I think in general, once you work with the synergy, the, the cost savings of the merger, that it, it, it's really uh, shown that you have not produced the productivity you needed with the increased R&D. I think it's, it's fairly widely recognized that the merged entities have failed to, uh, to, to, to develop new products at the rate that would have been expected from the resources available to them. So, uh, while in the past, companies would merge often to protect their R&D resources, uh, and, uh, and downsides would affect primarily uh, GNA functions. Moving forward, I think that the, the new merged entities will not protect their R&D uh, resources and will downsize R&D in parallel with other parts of the company. Uh, I think the, We'll see is that companies um, place fewer bets in R&D. They uh, they will they will choose to spend their money in areas where they feel they they, they have a, a knowledge base, an area of areas of established expertise, or where they can find a partner who can bring that expertise. Um, and uh, and they will I think look to uh, outsource more frequently, to, uh, both to to increase their flexibility and also to share risk.